Otis Jackson, who? better known as 50 Cent, has been in several high-profile relationships. But it's his previous romance with model and actress Daphne Joy that has raised some eyebrows in recent days. Based on some current allegations, we decided to take a deeper look into all the aspects of their relationship. And guess what, besties? It's a hot, stinking mess. I knew it, sis. I knew it. Before we jump into today's video, we gotta plug our little candy shop. <laughs> Our online concession stand at rrgsnacks.com has a bunch of five-star goodies for you to enjoy while watching our videos, like beef and bacon jerky, butter toffee peanuts, and gummy sour peach rings. I'm tired of being a winter shopper. I'ma scoop me up some snacks today. In 2010, things were heating up for Daphne's personal and professional life. She appeared on the January 2010 cover of Smooth Magazine, and she reportedly started dating comedian D. Ray Davis. We're unsure when she and D. Ray broke up, but by the summer of 2011, she was spotted out with 50 at exotic locations. She even helped him celebrate his 36th birthday at parties in Las Vegas and Atlanta. Weeks after celebrating his birthday, sources reported their relationship was over. Grand opening, grand close. A Twitter user asked him about his status with Daphne, and the father of one reportedly replied that he was single. But things weren't completely over for them. They were photographed together once again, and D-Ray must have felt some kind of way about his ex moving on with 50. In September 2011, he took to his Twitter to write, How you model for smooth if you're coochie bumpy? Wait a minute now. Bump the brakes. Her coochie is what? Bumpy. Come again now. Maybe I didn't hear that right. He later deleted the tweet. So y'all gonna gloss right on over the bumpy coochie, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. As the years passed, they never officially confirmed the status of their relationship. And then in 2013, all hell broke loose. Say it with me, besties. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. 50 was accused of ransacking Daphne's bedroom during a June 2013 argument at her Los Angeles condo. Daphne told police that 50 made $7,100 worth of damages in her condo. And when she locked herself in her bedroom, he kicked the door open and kicked her. Police found broken chandeliers, destroyed furniture throughout the home, clothes thrown all over the place, a broken television, and a broken lamp. The hell wrong with him? The hell was he so mad about? Maybe he didn't like bumpy coochies. <laughs> he was mad the coochie wasn't smooth, is that it? What was most surprising about the allegations was the police report, where investigators dropped a bombshell. 50 and Daphne had secretly welcomed a child. Yup! Daphne had quietly given birth to a baby boy named Sire Jackson in September 2012, which was about nine months before their domestic incident went down. In a statement, her lawyer said, Daphne Joy and Curtis Jackson have been together for a few years in an exclusive relationship. They had a child, and now Daphne's number one priority is to ensure both her and the baby's safety during this difficult time. However, the Los Angeles city attorney referred to Daphne as 50's former girlfriend. 50 was facing up to five years in prison, but he took a plea deal and was ordered to do 30 days of community service and he was placed on three years probation. By that point, it appeared that their romantic relationship was over. Bye, Ashley. It wasn't until January 2014 that 50 publicly acknowledged their son, Sire. Then came July 2015. 50 was ordered to pay Rick Ross's baby mama $5 million after he posted a sex tape of her and another man online in order to get under Rick's skin. Weeks later, 50 filed for personal bankruptcy in Connecticut. He told the court he was only worth about $4.4 million and his online displays of wealth were all smoke and mirrors. Look at him trying to get out of that lawsuit. <laughs> His lawyer told the court that 50's bank account was approaching zero dollars because of unpaid debts, which included $1,737 he owed to his grandfather. Not him borrowing money from Paul Paul. <laughs> as for 50, he told the court, Now that I filed for bankruptcy, I'm not as cool as I was last week. Now just sit your ass down. You ain't been cool since. Go, shawty. It's your birthday. The most interesting part about his bankruptcy filing was the revelation that Daphne was only receiving $1,267 per month in child support, and his first child's mother, Shaniqua Tompkins, was receiving a little over $6,000 per month. Oh, really? What happened to have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire? <laughs> 
Well, 50 had all that going on, Daphne moved on with Jason Derulo in the fall of 2015. BET.com reported that 50 flooded his social media account with pictures of his and Daphne's son, Sire, during the 2015 holidays. But when Daphne and Jason went public with their romance by posting intimate vacation pictures, 50 suddenly removed all the photos of his son, Sire, from his Instagram feed. 50 turned the pettiness up a notch by commenting on a photo of Daphne and Jason with, But don't worry, baby. I'm fine. Just a little shook up. LMAO. Good morning. Aw, him feeling was hurt. <laughs> After about six months of dating, a source told TMZ that Daphne ended things with Jason. Jason moved on and later made Jenna Frumez a single mother. Y'all messy as hell. <laughs> Daphne put her focus back on raising her son, and she and 50 patched up their friendship as well. Now, let's fast forward to July 2018. 50 was having a very busy month. After Remy Ma shared a picture of her slimmed down figure on Instagram, 50 left a comment that read, Damn, Remy, you lost mad weight. Hey, Slim. With his thirsty ass. Apparently, Remy's husband, Papoose, wasn't feeling that comment. Papoose responded, Damn, Daphne Joy, no wedding yet? If 50 Cent doesn't marry you, I'll introduce you to my homeboy. He's more mature. My left shoe is more mature than 50 Cent. And then, two weeks later, 50 was involved in another online feud. This time, it was with his on-again, off-again friend, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd posted a photo from his son's high school graduation, and 50 made fun of the boxer's literacy in the comments. A week after 50's shady comment, Floyd's ghostwriter... Y'all so messy. <laughs> I mean, Floyd took to his Instagram to post a lengthy response. The post, which is still on Floyd's account after all these years, drops some interesting tea. The boxer called 50 a certified snitch who hasn't had a hit song on the radio in years. Floyd then accused 50 of living in an apartment in New Jersey and staying in other people's business just to stay relevant. The most damaging part of the clapback was when Floyd wrote, So quick to gossip like a b- why don't you tell everybody how you got herpes from DJ? Yeah. Say what now? Not the bumpy coochie again. Holy. That drop of tea also led people to revisit D-Ray's statement he made back in 2011 about someone on the cover of Smooth Magazine having a bumpy coochie. What in the Nestle Crunch is going on in Hollywood? <laughs> Floyd ended his message by saying, Just remember, I was with you every day, and your driver, Bruce, was my driver also. I know where all your bones are buried, so be easy, Curtis Jackson. Not the government now. But he wasn't done. In another post, Floyd included a photo of Maury Povich along with side-by-side -side photos of 50 and his sons, Sire and Marquise. In his caption, Floyd took shots at 50's strained relationship with Marquise. And then Floyd added, Don't worry, Marquise. Uncle Floyd still got you. I would hold little man down too, but you're still not sure if he really belongs to you. Yeah. A bumpy coochie and questionable paternity. It, Jesus. The years passed by, and 50 started a relationship with a woman named Jamira Haynes in 2019. As for Daphne, well, the rumors about the alleged snap, crackle, pop still couldn't keep the ninjas away. In April 2021, she was spotted out with Diddy. 50 reposted the image on his Instagram along with the caption, Nah, me and Puff fight over business shit. If he liked a girl, he liked a girl. I don't give a f Daphne would go on publicly to express her admiration for Diddy by reposting one of his shirtless photos. While looking through Daphne's Instagram account, we noticed that not only is Diddy following her, but Joy Chavez is following her too. And Daphne is following them back. In case you're unaware, Joy and Diddy were spotted swapping spit on a yacht back in September 2021. That means Daphne was hanging out with him before Joy played tonsil hockey with him. What in the sister wives is going on here? Although 50 appeared to be unbothered by Daphne's new romance, in September 2021, to, he turned the pettiness up a notch. After Daphne posted a photo of herself enjoying Diddy's iHeart Radio Music Festival performance, 50 shared a picture of him and his son, along with the caption, Oh, sh that's your mommy over there with Puffy, LOL. Remember what I told you the other day? These be crazy, SMH. At that point, Daphne had had enough. She commented on his post, Please stop doing this to me. I never bother you, and I'm an outstanding mother to our son. Can we please just focus on that, please? 
Diddy got sued by his ex-girlfriend Cassie in November 2023, and they settled the lawsuit one day later. Of course, 50 couldn't help but taunt Diddy over the matter. 50 also announced that he was creating a documentary about all of the allegations. Diddy was hit with more legal issues, including a $30 million lawsuit filed by his former producer, Rodney Jones. In court docs, Rodney claimed Daphne and Diddy's other girlfriend, Young Miami, were sex workers who were hired by Diddy. Rodney went on to say Diddy paid the woman a monthly fee to be a part of his harem. Without tagging Daphne, 50 captioned an Instagram photo, I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker. LOL. On March 28, 2024, a source close to 50 told Us Weekly that due to the allegations about Daphne's involvement with Diddy, 50 was going to ask a court for sole custody of their son. Ninja, sit your black ass down. Daphne took to her Instagram to deny all of Rodney's allegations. And then, in a separate post, she aired 50 out. She accused 50 of only seeing their son 10 times in two years before launching into allegations that 50 forcefully took advantage of her. She added that he had damaged the last hope she had for him as a father to preserve their family. She added, you have broken our hearts for the last and final time. Now, keep in mind, sources have reported that she made these allegations against 50 after he made it known he was going to ask for full custody of their son. 50 didn't directly respond to the allegations against him. Instead, he posted a photo of Diddy and Daphne on his Instagram and wrote, You moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back, and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now here we are, little sex worker. This ninja, he a big-ass baby. Man, child. He gonna cry in the car. <laughs> His ass should have stayed with Vivica Fox. Hell, she had all that profit from her wig collection. Okay, she grown. She a woman of a particular age. She don't do drama or mess. She would have railed his ass on in. Could have been somewhere eating crumpets and drinking tea. Hell, with their pinky finger up. Do y'all think 50 will win full custody? Or will Daphne use their past domestic issue and his alleged detachment from their son against him in a court of law? Let us know down below. And thanks for watching this hot, stankin' mess.